You're watching 17-year-old Janet Lynn of Rockford, Illinois, three-time United States champion, trying to win her first medal in a world championship. To do it, she must move up from fifth place, remember. Janet Lynn is a five-time national champion and Olympic bronze medalist who some may argue, despite the lack of gold Olympic medals, is the greatest American figure skater who ever lived. She started training at the age of three in nearby Rockton, Illinois, but she grew up, went to school, and even graduated from high school in Rockford, Illinois. And that makes her a very big deal to Rockford's history. Arch at the back and a stretch of the leg. Beautifully turned out. Long before I arrived at the Midway Village Museum for my collections internship, Laura Furman, the curator of collections there, had been cultivating a relationship with uh, Janet Lynn and her family, um, which often is a large part of the job. You have to be a diplomat of sorts. These relationships often result in beautiful exhibits, um, and they benefit the family, the museum, and the entire public. Laura had already done all the planning and logistics necessary for the satellite exhibit. She actually already installed one in another location in Rockford. She asked me to tweak the timeline graphics and make them bigger and more appropriate for the space at the Riverview Ice House. After a protective UV film was installed in the exhibit space, we were able to pack up my van and start installing the exhibit. The Riverview Ice House is one of two ice skating facilities in the Rockford area and is operated by the Rockford Park District. It is home to the Junior Ice Hogs hockey team, offers figure skating and hockey lessons, and provides open skate time for the public to enjoy. It has two arenas inside, one of which has already long since been named in honor of Janet Lynn. This exhibit took me, Amanda, and Laura a day's work to assemble. You never really know how something is going to work until you are in the actual space, and there was quite a bit of amendments to the original layout. There were times when something planned did not actually work in execution, so it took on-the-spot decision-making skills in order to persevere. One of the most difficult obstacles was placing objects in the exhibit so that they were not obstructed by the handrail that was affixed to the glass. The objects were placed in a chronological order that easily lined up with the text on the timeline graphics. All the objects in the collection are special, but young figure skaters coming in these doors will gravitate towards the skating costumes, so we added an interactive QR code so they can see these costumes in action on YouTube. Always keep in mind, especially because it is a satellite exhibit, that the work you do here is a direct reflection of Midway Village Museum and because none of it would be possible without the collaboration from Janet Lynn herself, you want to make sure that you created something that you would be proud to honor her with. Janet Lynn getting literally bravo. I hear several behind me. Look at the marks for Janet Lynn. Five nine, five nine, five nine. A perfect six from the Swiss judge. 5-9 for the American, 5-8, five, 5-8, eight, five, eight, another 6 from the Italian, and 5-9. Janet Lynn has skated the performance of her life in the World Championship.